Hello! We are going to be talking about red envelopes today. And red envelopes are something you see in Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year in many different Asian countries. So in this book, Lanterns and Firecrackers, we turn to this page, you can see my brother and I are each given an envelope with money inside. The envelopes are red, the color of luck. You're going to see a lot of red. Red is a very important color in China and other Asian countries. So I have a few more books to show you about this. Here you can see red is for red envelopes. So also good luck money. So usually children or unmarried adults will get this from their parents, grandparents. You can see they're getting their little red envelopes. And in this book, Japanese celebration, so not just China, but also in Japan, you can see here, they've got the red envelopes as well. So here you can have the Japanese word, Otoshidama. In um, China, they're usually called Hung Bao or Lai Si for the red envelopes. And here are the characters that show that. So again, it's saying this is gifts of money from family members. So I wanna share with you, you um, have got two books here that involve the red envelopes. Sam and the Lucky Money. Now in this one, Sam does get money in his red envelopes from his grandparents, but he decides to do something different with the money than buying something for himself. Now in this story, Ruby's Wish, her grandfather gives her a red envelope, but instead of containing money, it's actually a was a little packet that was better than that because she wanted something more. And it was a letter from a university saying they would accept her as one of their very first female students. So she had something different in there, a different gift. So you are going to be making a red envelope today. And I have some actual red envelopes to show you. I want you to be able to see, look at the gold on here. Look at this. So you can see these little envelopes. Now this one's not red, but these ones are red. Okay, you can see the little writing on the back. And so you can see here that the money would be tucked inside. Now you probably don't have um, an envelope quite like this at home, so we can make our own. So you have a couple of choices. All right, couple of choices here. You might have some um, envelopes that you are able to use, and then you can go ahead and decorate them. Um, sometimes your, your grown-ups might have some uh, junk mail envelopes that came in junk mail that you'd be able to, to decorate. And you can do all different things to these. You can cut and glue. You could find red um, in ads or magazines and cut out and make designs. You could decorate yourself. Now, I wish I had some red paper, but I do not. So I'm gonna be making a different kind of envelope out of my white paper. All right, so the first thing is I need to make this a square. So I'm gonna fold this corner and this edge so that it lines up with this edge of the paper. And I really take my time. I don't want it to be off. I want it to be really nice. So I'm gonna line it up. Once I hold it in place, I get out my don't you move paper finger, hold it, hold it because I don't wanna push it down and it slide. Then I'm going to slide from the top here and slide to the middle, slide to the left, slide to the right. Everybody clap your hands. Oh, it's not music class. Okay, then to make this square, I cut off this edge. And I'm just gonna go right along, take big, slow bites. All right, that's all the cutting I need to do. All right, so now that I have this corner to corner folded. I'm going to open it. And instead of folding this, this corner to here, I'm going to fold this corner to here. And you could use this with any paper. You could use it with um, leftover wrapping paper would be fun. Or if you have scrapbook paper or magazine paper, newspaper. All right, so now I have four equal triangles, right, that I've made out of my square. And the next thing I need to do is I'm going to fold my corners to the center. So the reason I did these two is that where these lines intersect and they make this little X, that middle line there, that little, not the little middle point shows me the very center of this. So I'm gonna fold each corner right to that center, hold it down, slide left, right. 
next one. And you want to be real careful with this. So we're doing some origami, right? If origami is the art of paper folding, we are doing some origami. So this is to that corner, and this is here. Now to become an envelope, it's actually gonna stay like this, and then this becomes the envelope. So you do have to, when you're all done, maybe put a little sticker or a piece of tape or something there. You could even take a strip of paper. Like if I only, let's say I only had a glue stick. I could take my leftover paper, And I could actually glue those pieces together and have them wrap around, if that makes sense, and then glue those together to hold it shut. I like using all my paper, all my scraps. Okay, so now I can decorate my envelope however I want. Red is lucky that it's a color that I wanna use for this, but you might say, well, red's not a lucky color for me. Green is my lucky color. Then you make it for yourself. Now, what I love about, um, these is that you have a lot of freedom. I'm going to get out some printouts I have. I have some Chinese symbols. So each one of these words, um, each one of these characters means a different word or phrase. So this whole design right here, that whole character means love. And there's other things you could put on your envelope. You could do a panda, a lotus flower. You could put a dragon. You're welcome to pause on any of these and look at these for any of your drawings. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a few more that has some New Year's images on them. So you've got, again, your dragons. Oranges are good luck at the Lunar New Year. Look at that, some cherry blossoms. There's our panda again. So I think I'm going to put a rooster on mine, the year of the, the rooster. And I'm gonna actually look at this guy. I think he will be a little bit simpler. But you could do different things. Koi fish, trees, lanterns. Okay, so I'm gonna add my little rooster on here. You could look up your zodiac. So um, in my Japanese tradition book here, you've got your different animals that represent the year you were born. So you could actually search on your computer, let's say you were born in 2015, you could say um, Zodiac, Chinese Zodiac 2015, and you might wanna put your birth month too, because let's say you were born in 1984 and you think you're a rat, but if you were born in the beginning of January, you'd actually be, I think, the boar because Lunar New Year doesn't always start on January 1st. It might start uh, in early February. It might start at the end of January. So you have to look. And each animal has a different meaning. So you can say, all right, so if I was, if I was born in 2000 and I'm a dragon, dragons are elegant, healthy, and strong. So you might want to put a dragon on, on your um, envelope. Do you have to do that new? I'm gonna do the rooster. The rooster is important to me. So I'm gonna look at my picture and I'm gonna go kind of quickly because you know what? You might not wanna do a rooster, but you can just see how I kind of fill up. Oh, he looks very startled. Doesn't he look surprised? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna draw kind of quickly. I'm really looking at my picture. I have practiced a lot, so I'm able to kind of look at this and Ooh, the feathers are gonna go right off the edge. If I had done that in pencil, I would have been able to fit it in, but you know what? I kind of like that they don't fit off of there. Got a lot of little feathers on here, just little letter U's and C's and kind of these little arms on here. Okay, so I've got these little feet, look at those. All right, so then I can come in and I might add some other things. I might add some, I'm gonna put some little lanterns coming down because those are definitely a part of Chinese New Year, there's a lantern festival on the 15th day. So I'm gonna add some different and lanterns and different shapes in there. Oh, look at this one. This is a common one, but the lanterns can be shaped like um, animals or flowers too. So they can be little boxes like this. Ooh, to do, make that little 3D cube. Okay, and then maybe this is gonna have some streamers coming down too. And let's put a little ground on here. 
Okay, so I would go in and color this and add my different designs. Now, <clears throat> you're making your own envelope. You're not receiving this as a gift. So when you flip it open, unfortunately, there is no money. But I wanna be inspired by Ruby's wish. Her wish was to go to university. She wanted to learn more. She wanted to get an education. So I'm actually gonna take my little strips here and I want you to write down what your wish for the year would be. What do you wish for? And that can be your little secret wish. You'd write it on here, tuck it inside of your envelope, and then you can tape this closed as your little lucky envelope. And like I said, you could be decorating envelopes that you already have created. If you don't wanna make it this way, you could also search for other ways to make envelopes. So good luck making your hung bao, your red envelopes, and I can't wait to see them.